Hello everyone, uh, I'm Laura, I'm a data scientist at DataCamp, and today we're in the recording studio with David Stouffer. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, we recorded a course on ARIMA modeling with R today, so another time series course. Um, I think it's going to be great, we're very excited about this. And since you're here today, I thought I could ask you a couple of questions that our users might be interested sure. in. So maybe the first thing I would ask you is, for the people that don't know you, uh, it would be good if you just give a short introduction on who you are and what you do. Okay, so I'm a, a professor of statistics at the University of Pittsburgh. Um, I'm the editor or co-editor of a few journals, uh, one on time series analysis, one journal of forecasting, the annals of the Institute of Statistical Mathematics, and maybe something else I can't <laughs> remember. Okay. So I spread Impressive. myself thin on that. And then I have two books on time series, one on linear and one on nonlinear. Okay. So the course is based on the linear book. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I'll, I'll ask you more about the book later, but maybe a good question next is how, so how did you get into statistics? Like, how did you start? Okay, so as an undergraduate, I was a math major. And the requirement was that you had to have a long sequence in one thing. You had to specialize in one thing, okay. like analysis or differential equations. And just by chance, I chose statistics because it was available and convenient. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so then the professor came in. It was like the second course in time series. The professor came in, there were 10 people in class. When he came in, he kicked the, the trash can across the room and started teaching like way over our head. Okay. So the next class, there were only two people left. <laughs> so then me and this other guy. And so then we changed the time of the course and we sat in his office and he taught statistics and it was completely over my head. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't understand this. And he goes, well, you've had linear algebra and calculus, right? And I said, yeah. And he goes, then you can understand it. <laughs> and so, and then actually I started to. That's how I got. <laughs> so basically he taught over our heads. Okay. And that's how I got into statistics <laughs> because I liked it. Okay, that's counterintuitive. That's actually the way I teach now. But okay. I don't tell anybody that okay. I teach over your head. You have to come up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. So, um, so okay. You're obviously so. I mean, very much into statistics. So, why did you decide to create this course for DataCamp? Well, <laughs> it seemed like a good opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. So, I got this call from a very nice person, and she said, "Would you like to create the DataCamp <laughs> okay. course?" And I thought, "Oh, that would be nice." Okay. Good. Well, well, happy to hear. Because the more people that know time series, the better. That's true. The more books also. That's true. That's true. So, okay, about, about the book. So you wrote the book, Time Series Analysis and its Applications with our examples. So what triggered you to write this book? And, uh, well, can you, a little bit, can you tell us a little bit more about, about your book? So the, that book, there was a, Bob Shumway already had a text on time series, and he was asked to revise it okay. and he couldn't do it okay and so he asked me if I wanted to and I said okay I'll try so that's how it started so our collaboration started that way okay so the the, 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 the original Shumway book already have the R examples or is no that something that no was that was like before maybe just at the time when people had like basic um, IBM PCs, okay. like ATs or even XTs on their mm -hmm. desktop with floppies, no hard drive. Okay, and yeah. so that <laughs> book had an IBM. So on the book on the front, it says IBM disk included. They even floppies were called IBM disks. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then, and so he wrote it in, um, What's it called? Visual Studio? Wait, what's it? I forgot what the Microsoft Visual Studio, it was a bit like basic, okay. you know, coding. Okay, okay. And so, no, there was no R, there was no S+, plus, okay. nothing like that. Okay. Even BMDP, I think, is what people use. That's not even around anymore. I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> not that no. I know of. <laughs> From UCLA. Okay, yeah, okay. So okay. That, that didn't last, I think, SAS sort of. Yeah, okay. oh, okay, okay. 
exercise. I did them. them. Okay. So um, you, you did this collaboration with Bob Shamway. Who were other good mentors for you, or and what were the qualities of these people? So I like people who could sing really well, and <laughs> <laughs> let's see who were. <laughs> And I mean, maybe in the field dance. Of statistics. Oh, in statistics, let's see. <laughs> or related like, fields. Talented people, yeah. So, um, so Bob was a good mentor. The thing that I liked about Bob was he always had these great problems. So, he worked. He did a lot of consulting and had these incredible problems that were difficult to solve. So that sort of showed me that you can't just be alone and think up the problems. You have to go out and you know, see what people are doing, mm -hmm. and then the problems sort of come that yeah, way. Yeah, right, right. So very applied. Well, uh, or start from an application. Right. And then rather than you thinking of, the, of A method. things that let people come to you and mm -hmm. ask you questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, so you told us about the other programming languages. So how, how did you get into R? So why did you choose? Because you, you said you, you collaborated on the book and then you included the R example. So why did you choose R? Um, I'm, so people were using, most people were using S plus. Mm -hmm. And then about that time, S plus was not free. It was bought out by a company and mm -hmm. you know they were charging a lot of money and R was new. So it was just sort of a natural okay. kind of extension to use R. Okay. Well, yeah, it makes, makes sense. So I think, my final question to you would be, what would you advise aspiring, well, statisticians, or uh, what advice do you have for people uh, just starting to learn, well, maybe in particular, time series analysis? So I think the, the best thing is to have a good math background, to mm -hmm. know the calculus, to know some differential equations, mm -hmm. to know um, complex analysis, things like that. It makes it a lot easier because time series is a, is stochastic processes, so you have to know about mm -hmm. you know stationarity and things like that, second order processes, and maybe a little bit of stochastic calculus. So mm -hmm. that kind of helps. So I think a math, good math background is what's mm -hmm. needed. Okay, good. Well, thank you very much for okay, answering the thank questions. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye kids.